2012 for the PS3, and everyone was like, <laughs> The game received overwhelmingly positive reviews with just how breathtaking it was. The game was developed by That Game Company, a dev team best known for their simple but powerful games. And when Journey hit the scene, it kind of answered the question, are video games art? Cause good lord almighty, this game is so freaking pretty and meaningful. Oh god, I, I don't know how to explain it. Just holy crap, my eyes! And while the game is short and simple, it really had an impact on the gaming community. And kind of reminded everyone that indie games are still a hella cool thing. But anyway, if you're new to this game, here's your basic tips and tricks for people who don't know about this game. So you play as whatever the hell this thing is, and you find yourself in a giant desert. Not knowing anything at all, you walk forward to find a giant mountain thingy off in the distance. And it being the biggest thing in the area, it's highly inferred that you're supposed to head towards it. And so yeah, you head for it to begin your, all together now, journey! Yeah! Woo! Now, the story isn't exactly spelled out for you, and there isn't any dialogue or nothing. Everything is kind of bare-boned. But as you progress through the game, you'll get little flashbacks of the world's history, and if you're a fan of Pictionary, you'll be able to piece together the itty-bitty tiny pieces of the story that you get. But Journey really isn't about the story. It's about... Well, the journey. Go naming team, yeah. But the real story is in the world. Seeing what was and letting that speak for itself. And Journey has got some major spiritual stuff going on. I mean, this game will make you feel things. Holy crap. It's like bathing in a tub of sunshine. I love it. <clears throat> Do you mind? So gameplay-wise, Journey is really, really simple. All you really have to do is jump, glide, and ping. Or, or chirp or whatever you want to call it, I'm not really sure. Basically, you hit a button and you make this little sound that can activate stuff and it's your main way of interacting with things. Also, it's kind of adorable. Now, Journey's aesthetics are through the roof and your ability to glide is determined by how long your scarf is and how much pattern is still on it. Now, the game doesn't have any level ups, power ups, or push up pops. You're gonna end with the same abilities you started with. The only thing you can increase is the length of your scarf by finding these little shiny thingamajigamabobs around certain areas. And while extending the length of your glide certainly makes things more floaty and ah, it's really not needed to beat the game. Like, you can just beat it with a little stubby scarf if you feel like being a boring turd and walking everywhere. Now, level design wise, the game is pretty linear. And while the game may look open, world, it's not. It's an illusion, and the game is just lying to you. So don't roam around endlessly in the desert, trust me, nothing happens. Now Journey is all about platforming, with all the jumping and the twirling and the whoosh whoosh, and that's basically all you'll be doing here. The goal is to just reach the mountain, so going forward is the way to go. And while there are enemies in certain parts of the game, there is no fighting, only panicking and running away and crossing your fingers that crap your pants thing doesn't see you, oh god, please just leave me alone! But the best way to enjoy Journey is just go with the flow, and taking your time to just feel the game. And yeah, I know that sounds kind of dumb, but I'm serious. The music is great too and adds to that slippery, slidey, floaty, smooth sensation that this game is known for. Also sand. Lots of sand. I mean, I didn't think it was possible to be emotionally connected to sand, but this game does it somehow. <laughs> So, while the game is really simple, it does do something pretty interesting. Assuming you're logged on to PSN, the game has forced multiplayer. And before all of you introverted nerds start freaking out about human interaction, your only means of talking to another player is through your ping noise. And that's kind of it. No display name, no nothing. And now you can't choose who you partner up with, it's kind of random. So, things can get a little problematic if you want to play with a friend. But as you go through the game, you'll be seamlessly matched up with another player, and while you can beat the game solo no problem, I don't know what it is, but having another player with you makes things way more special because it teaches you the power of friendship and you feel like you can take on the world together. Now other players can't really mess up your playthrough, because you can just ditch the loser if they're messing around and running around in the sand or something like that, but as a whole, they can only help rather than hurt the experience, or maybe that's just me, I don't know. Unless they start getting sassy with that ping, and I can tell when you guys are getting sassy. And just FYI, people I've played with, when I start pinging like there's no tomorrow, I'm not doing it to be cute. It means you're about to do something stupid, you nerd. Good God. 
So, while Journey is an extremely emotional and borderline spiritual experience, the simplicity and shortness of the game can be kind of a turnoff for most people, especially if they're looking for a hardy platformer. But Journey is just the right length to want you craving more rather than getting bored with it. And it's the kind of game you want to show people who doubt that games are art. Because, oh my god! <laughs> I need a moment, you guys. Oh, just give me a minute. Oh my god, my poor little heart. And even if you're not into indie games, Journey is a must own and something everyone should experience, gamer or not. And I hope this basics beginner's guide makes your gaming experience a little better. So please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Hey, how you doing? Did you like this video? Well, if you did, why don't you go watch another one, you nerd? Also, why don't you go follow me on Twitter so you can keep up to date on what's gonna happen next. And a special thank you for everyone who came out to my first live stream. Y'all are so wonderful, and if I could send bread to every single one of you, trust me, I would. If you have any tips for this game or any future games, please leave a comment, tweet me, or send me a message. Toodles, sweet thing!